You come back later, mate. We'll get you a falafel or something. We are at the front of the steps outside at Wembley Stadium to launch Green Football Weekend 2024. And we're here to try and bring the football community together to help save our planet by, by talking about Green Football Weekend. And this year it's all about food. I think this is one of the best initiatives I've been asked to do over the past few months. It's just been absolutely wonderful. And it was great today to see these young people come down and enjoy the cooking with myself and Robbie Savage and Joe Cole. Changing what we eat can actually help us fight the climate crisis. And uh, we just had a bake off over here. A couple of teams, me and Joe Cole, uh, Robbie Savage and Levi Roots, who's a nice man, I've never met him before. Um, they were making Jamaican patties, vegan Jamaican patties, and we were making vegan burgers. We, we had a little bit of this beetroot sauce with gherkins, mushroom shiitake burgers, a little little bun with a bit of rice paper on it. Ah, oh, sublime. The top drawer, look at that quality. Oh, you're right, expert. How much could you sell that for down at Forest yeah. Green? Uh, yeah. I'd do about five, really. A five yeah, yeah, maybe four, four yeah. or five. Well, some prices four. down there, isn't it? It, it, it looks Well, the Green Football Weekend has got this great cookbook out now, and I've got a recipe in there, which I was cooking today, of my Jamaican vegan patties. And it's great when you can have a cookbook in front of you, you will see that cooking vegetables is actually something which is quite fantastic, or as I used to say, fabulous. You know, it opens your mind to, to about, you know, what kind of foods you can eat, what, what type of foods are vegan. You know, my son was at Forest Green last year and it, it certainly opened his eyes. You know, we began in green football in 2010 when I rescued Forest Green Rovers and back then, other people in other football clubs, fans, directors, that kind of stuff, you know, they would kind of eye roll a bit, you know what I mean? What's sustainability got to do with football? You just fast forward 13 years to where we are now and um, football and sustainability are coming together. Yeah, it's really important that we bring everyone together on this. We're already seeing an impact of climate change on football, especially lower down the leagues. Um, we've already seen about 150,000 games called off because of flooding, and that's only going to get worse. It's estimated that over the next 25 years, it's going to be about one in four clubs are going to experience flooding. So this is a, a huge potential problem in the future going forward, and, and it's something that we can all try and play a small part to try and help do something about. Yeah, brilliant. Listen, educated me on terms of changing my thought process around climate change. You know, I didn't realise that if every football fan in the UK ate one veggie meal a day, it's the equivalent of taking five and a half million cars off the road, which is quite incredible, really. We're happy with our job so far, aren't we? You doing well. You know, I've definitely cut down on, on, on the amount of meat I have, electric car, all these little things I think, I think can make a big difference. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Go on, Lynch. Who was my star cook today? Well, Joe Cole was a little bit flat, I gotta say, <laughs> with his burgers. But Robbie Savage and I with our Jamaican patties, we were up there. So I think we edged it a little bit. Just a little bit. Well listen, yes, he's, he's got to look after his teammates, hasn't he? Like they were together, but I think if you spoke to him off air. He, would, he, he knows who the, who the master chef is. I didn't actually see what Robbie was doing. It looked to me like Levi was at the heart of that operation. Uh, so, you know. You know, I'm not, I'm not a cook at all. No, don't be like me. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I've done Robbie there today. 1-0, 1-0 Cole.